my vision, which I've shared with Dr. Ibeck and with Ted and, and a lot of guys have heard, it's, it's called One Heartbeat. We got to get on One Heartbeat. Our team can start that, but it's got to come from the top down, from the president to the AD to the men's basketball coach. And we've got we've to spread this out through the community, that we are all family, we are all here together, and that's how we're going to get butts in the seats. The players get out in the community, they do special things, but they paint, paint the town orange and black. They're real excited. Their play will bring people to the stands. There's no question, but it's a one heartbeat mentality. Coach Verlin is a very uh, high energy, um, positive, motivating coach. Um, love the energy that he would come to practice with and also pushing all the players and, uh, you know, just always had the right thing to say whenever guys seemed down or the team seemed to like fall, uh, not fall apart, but, you know, get away from its ways. And with Coach Verlin, I think that, uh, you know, the game will actually start to pick up the pace. We'll start to run more, um, which I'm looking forward to, which is more the style of basketball that fits my, my kind of play. So, um, I mean, he's a good guy, good coach. Um, very educated on the defensive end of the ball, too. So I'm very uh, looking forward to see what he's going to do defensively as well as offensively. But great guy and looking forward to working with him. I think he's the easiest coach to get along with. Uh, he's always cracking jokes. Um, very, um, I don't want to say casual, but he, uh, he's very comfortable, be, comfortable to be around. Uh, makes you feel like uh, you know you've been friends with him for a long time, um, and as a, I can imagine many young men coming to college, leaving their families, um, to have a coach or a mentor um, that's that comfortable to be around is very helpful. Coach Verlin's very impressive as a man and a coach. Uh, some of the words are you know obviously hardworking and passionate, but. Also, he cares a lot about people that he works with that um, I think one of his biggest strengths is going to be taking our players and our team and really maximizing uh, their development. Uh, he's a people person. He, he works hard with others and well with others, and I think that's going to be one of his biggest strengths is his ability to be able to uh, maximize our players, and I think that's going to help in the community. I think it will help with recruiting, and so I'm really excited about uh, you know, seeing him grow into a great head coach. Obviously we go from a conference that in the Big West that was 21st rated to now a conference that is 10th rated. So our game has to step up. We got a great team back. We got 11 guys back. We lost some great seniors, but uh, we've added a few guys um, that I'm very proud of. So uh, I think we're going to have a very, very competitive team and a very, very competitive conference. We're going to play hard. We're going to get after it. I think Stockton's a blue collar town. We're going to be a blue collar team.